So with a magic of video, it's now the next day. I didn't manage to get it finished and back in the same day, but the cylinders uh, are now back in. We've got the pipe work lag behind there. There's still a bit of finishing off to do. Uh, I just got it, you know, quick from the lag so we could get the cylinder back in, but this was all set out and it's now in. But we've got the flow and return into the, the cylinder. So this being a four pipe system, as I said before, there's a, a flow and return that goes to the heating up to that pump group set that's now got the cover on and another flow and return that go to the coil in the cylinder. I have got a, I've got a zone valve to put in here as well. I'm just trying to figure out the, the most sensible way of connecting it at the moment. This boiler has got its own uh, hot water thermostat that's going to go into the, the cylinder pocket there it's got a diverter valve inside it so that will uh that will turn that on and off as needed you know when the water gets to temperature but i do need to put the zone valve in that comes with the cylinder you know as it's needed to comply with the the regulations and presumably the warranty on it but the cylinder pocket there is going to be used up there is another one a bit higher up so i might just wire it i might just wire the uh the thermostat that actually come with a cylinder into that pocket up there that you can see and rig that up with a zone valve and maybe put it on its own power supply so that if the the cylinder does get too hot it will turn off power to the zone valve shutting off flow to the cylinder and uh you know and and and, and stopping it overheating but uh i'm going to figure that out in a little while there's a few bits left to do you know finishing off the power i'm only really here on this job to do the plumbing side of it i'm not really down for the electrics I've, I've wired up the uh the actual wiring for the the boiler up there and if you're interested in how it works let me know and i might uh i might be able to put up a wiring diagram for it or explain how it goes they're actually quite hard to wire in a neat way they're nice little control boxes but because they're black it's not easy to get hold of black trunking to make the cabling look neat and uh, yeah there's just a few things that i you know that if I'd, i've not done one of these before but if i've done it before i'd probably do it a little bit differently again so i'll probably surround it in some trunking and, and run it down the wall but i didn't really want to mix black you know black boxes and cabling with white trunking my ocd makes me think that looks quite untidy but uh so yeah, that's it pretty much finished. Uh, it'll get commissioned in the next week or so uh, and everything filled up. We've got water in the cylinder now, water in the underfloor heating. The radiators aren't ready to connect yet, so there's no, uh, there's no water in that circuit yet, but that will be done done soon. This was, I can't remember if on the uh, yesterday whether I've got this in, but this is the uh, vent and clean, the Flanco vent clean. Comes with a nice insulated jacket around it to stop any heat loss. Uh, oh, the other thing I've got to do still is the, the condensate. We've got it hanging down the back there, that grey that grey pipe. But I've got to put a little connection in for that and do that. But yeah, that's it. Hope it was interesting. If you've got any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks.